All right, so I'm early as hell today. It's 11 in the morning. So uh, we got 2005's The Lion, Chronicles of Narnia, The Lion, and Witch in the Wardrobe. Four disc extended edition. <laughs> so this is uh, the DVD of it. They don't have a Blu-ray, although there is a Blu-ray, but it is overseas, which sucks. Because, damn. So in this, you get four discs that gives you a lot of shit. <laughs> you get a bonus. You get all that bonus right there. Disc one has commentary, the extended motion picture, with... Bloopers, fun facts, kids and directors commentary, and more. Disc 2 has an in-depth look at the two worlds. Disc 3 has Dreamer of Narnia. Uh, the man about C.S. Lewis. And Disc 4 has Visualizing, Lion, Witch, and Wardrobe. Anatomy of a Scene, and an Art Gallery. And there's specifications. So, here is the four disc set. Peter, wait, I don't remember names. Peter, Lucy, something. No, Peter and Lucy. Ah, fuck, I fucking don't remember their goddamn names. <sighs> and then Aslan in the middle. And the side of it has that. Back of it has him again. And it opens up Aslan on both sides. It opens up again. So each disc, that red, oh maroon, I should say, <clears throat> silver, another maroon, and ooh, silver. And also you have the inserts. Or Disney Movie Rewards. You can try that code. <laughs> it does expire. It did expire in 2007. But. Hey. I've proven this shit before. Old digital codes. They have a tendency to still work. If they have not been touched. So try it out. There's a coupon for this. Mail in shit. That's expired. <laughs> So, yeah, the inside of this is an entire fold-out from the movie. So, I watched this a few, probably a month ago. <laughs> yeah, about a month ago and forgot to do a review on it because I got sidetracked. <sighs> so, yeah. Narnia is a solid... Oh, there's also a map. I forgot about that. My bad. So there's a map of Narnia. So the movie itself is a good 7, 3 out of 10. I like it. It's good. Um, When I originally watched it, I was like so enthralled by it and stuff. But, you know, now it's just like, it's good, but it could be more. Um... I know there were differences between this and the original BBC adaptation. Um, I have not seen the original adaptation, nor have I seen the original animated adaptation either, nor have I read the books. Because I'm kind of slow and, you know, I'm picky. But um, this, definitely good. I like the casting. Um, I think the weakest one out of the whole Narnia film series was Dawn Treader. Yeah, Voyage of the Dawn Treader, I think. Because it was so short. That's what really threw me off, because all the other ones were, like, over two hours, and that one was just, like, under a hundred minutes or some shit. I forget. But, yeah. Um, I actually did try to find a Blu-ray for this. I really want the Blu-ray, because... This being, you know, 15 years old, the picture quality is kind of dated for my eyes. Because I have astigmatism, so it sucks. Um, it's still worth a watch. Would I buy this digitally? 
No, because I don't want to spend that kind of money on something. You know, just, nah, I'm good. Um, but it's worth a good, it's worth the watch. It's totally worth, it's worth it. It's good. Um, if you're into fantasy and whatnot, you'll enjoy this. I'm surprised how dark it is for 2005. <laughs> Back when Disney didn't give a shit. Um, let's see. The battle sequence is phenomenal. The whole world building of Narnia is amazing. I do like the films. I have to rewatch them and rank them and stuff, but this one so far I like. It's good. Um, if you don't like Narnia, totally get that. It's understandable. Um, would I recommend it to you and friends? Definitely. Like, it's worth the time to check out. It's been a couple, it's been 15 years, so yeah. There should be an anniversary edition of this thing already on Blu-ray, shit. I don't know. Maybe they'll re-release all four of them on Blu-ray into a whole box set, who knows. Um... I do like how this looks like a book. That's really cool. <laughs> so it fits on your shelf just like a book. Um, I got... Where did I get this? Record and Tape Traders in Westminster years ago. That's how old this thing is. Um, what didn't I like? I think it was the fact that it was so... There wasn't a whole lot of story to it. But it laid the groundwork for a sequel and stuff, so that was kind of helpful. Um, what else was there? I, I love the world in Arnie. I really do. It's fun. But, I don't know. Something about the film just didn't really, like, sit with me. It didn't, like, stay with me. Like, it was cool, but then it just kind of, like, eh. I think the battle sequence could have been a lot more graphic, I guess. That's just me. Um, that's what it was. The build-up to the battle was kind of, like, short-changed and stuff. That's what it was. Yeah. Yeah, that's exactly what it was. Like, the battle just, like, ended so abruptly. I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> so, yeah. But, anyway... So, if you don't like Disney, you don't like Narnia, you don't like book adaptations, the same for you. If you like those three, definitely up your alley. Um, if you can't find this at your local library, or you can't find it digitally, check uh, 123 Movies, or Showbox, or... It might be on Disney+, Plus. I don't know. I don't think it is. Hmm. Let me check real fast. Actually, no, I'll, nah. I don't feel like checking, I'm lazy. <laughs> I wanna keep my stuff off for a while. So, um, yeah, that's what I got. So, I will be back a little later today with some book reviews. So, stay tuned. <laughs>